What's going on YouTube? It's time for a narrated Pokemon Wi-Fi battle video. Now, uh, today's battle video is once again VGC Battle Spot. Using the same team, oddly enough, and based on my opponent's team, I ended up bringing the same four Pokemon. Uh, of course, my opponent looks like he's running a Rain team. Uh, Raichu along Talonflame, or any Pokemon alongside Talonflame, is interesting just because Raichu can draw away those electric attacks, and Raichu is not weak to rock type attacks. Meanwhile, right, you can use Grass Knot or other things like that. To hit heavier Pokemon that might be using Stab Rock type attacks. Very interesting partner. Have not seen that in VTC really. Now, I did withdraw my Charizard Y there just because I knew that um, Raichu could use Faint. Um, you actually, I actually saw that back when I did VGC Regionals several years ago. And so that actually ends up happening. I'm happy to try to protect and Mega Evolve because that would not have been good. But uh, I lose my Diggersby in the process, unfortunately. I bring in Wigglytuff here just because I know that the high amount of HP of both Wigglytuff and Gudra will kind of wear down this bandit Talonflame. Meanwhile, neither Wigglytuff nor Gudra fears really anything from Raichu. So this is going to allow me to get a little bit more of the momentum on my side by using the bulk of my Pokemon to soak up hits rather than just be pure offensive. Now here I go for Dazzling Gleam because not only did I think it would kill, but he also had a Gorgeist in the team preview, probably just because things like Gastrodon check rain teams really easily for the most part. Uh, so I didn't, I, I really didn't want him switching that in there. And I ended up not getting the KO, I really should have gone for the Hyper Voice. But you know, hindsight is 20-20. Uh, Wigglytuff really just needs to stay alive in case he has Politoed. When I see Ludicolo, it makes me think that he has Politoed. Uh, he ends up going for the fake out on Gudra just to stop it from moving that turn. But uh, if he had KO'd my Wigglytuff right then, I would have been in a little bit more trouble because I would not have been able to KO his Raichu. And uh, by that, by virtue of that, I would have been forced to switch into Charizard. And then he would have had the rain up when I had Charizard out. But since I'm able to keep Wigglytuff around by virtue of it's just it's really, really high bulk, um, that means I'm able to bring out my Charizard and Mega Evolve into Charizard Y on the next turn here. I could have attacked the Politoed with the Thunderbolt, but I really didn't think it was a threat as long as I have Charizard Y, I hit it with the Solar Beam. And uh, right now, Ludicolo having that Swift Swim boost is a much bigger threat than um, the uh, opposing Politoed. Now, I have seen Politoed with Assault Vest, and plus Politoed generally just has a very high special defense stat. Well, not very high, above average, we'll say. So that, I was thinking that would allow it to live a hit for my Charizard Y, even if it was a super effective Solar Beam. Uh, of course, I am running Timid as well instead of Modest, just to uh, uh, at least speed tire outrun opposing Modest Charizard Y. And so I figure a good double uh, target right here will be enough to finish it off. The Thunderbolt is enough to finish it off, as we see that Citrus Berry pop up there. But that was a pretty good battle there. After a, those other couple battles I had, I had a better idea of my Wigglytuff's bulk. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing Wigglytuff actually, you know, do something this time. Fortunately, Diggersby wasn't able to do anything, but his sacrifice did allow me to win the battle. Anyways, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.